One of the most interesting Spanish provinces has always been the mysterious Navarra. Inhabited by the Basque people from the dawn of this civilization, it's been playing an important role throughout the country's history. Navarra is overwhelmed with both stunning and underrated places, meanwhile its gastronomy will surprise even the most demanding gourmets. In search for the authentic historical Navarra, one should go to the town of Sumbilla, with an ancient bridge that connects the banks with as ancient houses. As a matter of fact, Navarra, or Nafarroa in Basque language, is considered by the Basque historians a Basque land more ancient than Euskadi itself, which is Basque country. Navarra was the first to encounter with the Roman army, which made this land subject to strong urbanization, that led to local populations withdrawal to the Atlantic Ocean. Romanization was able to eradicate the Basque spirit of Navarra. First of all, in the north, in the valley of Bidasoa, which is home to the beautiful town of Subilla. The Basque people pronounce its name as Subil which is, of course, the correctest one. In the vicinity of the Bidasoa Valley, there is another pearl of the northern Navarra, known as the Valley of Bastan. Finally, it is located on the same Bidasoa river, which in this valley bears another name of Bastan. Exactly this part of Navarra was used by Pio Carro Barroja in 1972 as a stage for his wonderful four-part documentary Navarra for Seasons which is obligatory to be watched by anyone interested in Basque as well as Spanish topics. Especially given that Spaniards are all former Basques who failed to preserve their linguistic identity and gave in to the Romans and their Latin. Although they themselves are not really aware of this, nor they express any desire to know it. The charming Elizondo is compared by tourists to Switzerland despite the clear, purely Navarran peculiarities of its architecture. The features of the late Gothic, Renaissance and Morocco prevail. Elisondo, at a certain moment, sheltered the self-proclaimed Carlos V, and this part of his biography can only be envied. This same lens served as a background for another remarkable film, which is titled exactly Mastan. This movie, with the help of such star actors as Carmelo Gomez and Unash Ugalde, tells about the local mysterious subnation of Agots. In the medieval times they were cruelly oppressed, although nobody can say why, neither where these people came from.
gorgeous Spanish cities, and not only Spanish, the Navarra capital Pamplona, which is called Irunia by the Basque people, should not be associated solely with the San Fermin holiday, especially a such stupid one. El día 7 de julio, piensa en Pamplona y en San Fermines, anunciados por el Chupinazo. Desea correr en el encierro, sentirse entre los toros, participar en aquellas horas de tensión vital, de alegre violencia. It's hard to feel happy watching poor four-legged animals trying to escape from the animals with two legs. Navarra gave the world a lot of hugely interesting things. What makes Pamplona special, among other things, is the fact that there are two universities here for a 200,000 population. Besides, they produce here the famous local Pacharan liquor, using the Andrina prickly plum as the base. The drink is 30% strong. Pacharan is known from the medieval epoch and often is homemade. The famous delicious asparagus of Navarra is registered here as well. In the local Vinotec in the city's downtown, you will be